Hey, D, D, look, look, look at all the doves I finished over there. Wow. Yeah, see them all? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, D, have I told you how much fun I've been having working on this project? I'm glad. I, I have had the best week, and I can't wait until tomorrow. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Thanks for all that you've done, all you brought, all these things you brought to share. I love all your ideas for our Pentecost celebration. It is going to be so special. Yeah, yeah. Lots of peace, love, and spirit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and hopefully wind. Oh, amen to that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk through our plan and make sure we have everything, okay? Yeah. So first, there is a reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible. We're reading the first couple pages of a story called God Sends Help. Yeah. Okay. It is based on the book of Acts and the Gospel of John. And you're going to start. Okay, okay. Jesus' friends and helpers huddled together in a stuffy upstairs room. And even though it was sunny outside, the shutters were closed and the door was locked. Wait, in Jerusalem, Jesus had told them, I am going to send you a special present. God's power is going to come into you. God's Holy Spirit is coming. So here they were, waiting. Well, actually, mostly what they were doing was just being scared and hiding. You can't blame them. Their best friend had left. The important people and leaders were after them, and Jesus had given them a job they didn't know how to do. As they waited, they were praying and remembering. Remembering how from the beginning, God had been working out his secret rescue plan. Suddenly, a strong wind filled the little room, <laughs> whistling through the walls, rustling the straw on the floor. And there, on everyone's heads, shining in the gloom, were flickering flames, fire that didn't hurt or burn. And something more inside, in their hearts, they felt a strange heat, almost as if all the coldness and hardness were melting away, as if their broken hearts were mending and God was giving them brand new hearts, hearts that could work properly. How it happened, they didn't know, but they knew God's power had struck their hearts ablaze and Jesus himself was coming to live inside them. They had seen Jesus go away, but now he was closer than he had ever been inside their hearts. And this time, nothing could ever separate them. Jesus would always be there. With them. Loving them. Whispering the promise that would get rid of the poison and the terrible lie and the sickness in their hearts. God's wonderful promise to them. You are my child and I love you. Make your home in me as I make my home in you, Jesus had said. Could it be heaven was coming into their hearts? They threw open the shutters. Sunlight flooded their room as love had flooded their hearts. And the little room was filled with happy noises, dancing feet, singing, laughing. They unlocked the door and surged out into the streets as if they had never been afraid. Dear God, bless us with understanding of these words. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
I love the next part, <laughs> B. I know you saw it. Yeah. Doves! Doves, that's right. All these beautiful doves. So your mom and dad and all the other helpers are going to drop these doves we have created from the balcony. Each dove says peace in a different language. Beautiful. It's gonna be so cool. And lots of peace to go around. And I promised that we would pick up any doves that weren't adopted. And then, and then, and then we head outside to celebrate the spirit by celebrating the wind. Whoa! <laughs> so I'm wondering, what were you thinking as you collected all these things to bring? Well, well, Dee, I was thinking we can't see the wind, but we know it's there, mm -hmm. even when it is just a gentle breeze. Yeah. And pinwheels and balloons and bubbles and prayer flags <laughs> and, and, and my friend Gracie's kite mm -hmm. are all moved by the wind. The way our hearts can be moved by the spirit. And sometimes it's a gentle breeze, but sometimes it's a huge wind. But God is always with us. Just hang on. That is awesome, Andy. Yeah. I love it. Just hang on. <laughs> so we're going to close by reading an excerpt from a book called Breathe, A Child's Guide to Ascension, Pentecost, and the Growing Time, written by Laura Hilari. Okay. Okay. I'm learning new ways to pray with the wind and my own breath. Some days I blow bubbles and watch the breeze carry them. Each bubble is a prayer for someone. We use scissors, fabrics, and glue to make prayer flags. I put words on mine. Peace, hope, love, joy, welcome. We hang them outside. When the wind passes by, it makes them flutter. I wonder who will see my prayers. I wonder how far my prayers will go. I like to lie on my back on the grass on a warm day watching the clouds. I imagine my breath is making them move in and out, in and out. My belly rises and falls as the clouds drift across the sky. Sometimes I add a few words. Peace, Jesus, thank you, spirit, breathe in me. I like to run and jump and move, but I notice a lot more when I just sit. Sometimes it is good to be still. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting ready for something. I wonder what the spirit will do through me. Let's sing, Dee. <laughs> okay. Every time I feel the spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Every time I feel the spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Hey, Dee, Dee. Yeah? I have an idea for some new words. Okay. All right, try okay. it. Okay. Every time I feel the spirit moving in my heart, I'll show some love. Every time I feel the spirit moving in my heart, I'll show some love again. Every time we feel the spirit moving in our hearts, we'll show some love. Every time we feel the spirit moving in our hearts, we'll show some love. We'll